The one six two five. One six two five. Very good way to start this is to sing the bass notes. One six two five. One six two five. I feel like I'm at a baseball game. One six two five. So very good to sing that. One six two five. One six two. Five C A D G. Why don't you sing it with me? C A D G. C A D G. Now you know why you never hear me sing in performances. So now let's take that progression, the key of C. We have C, A minor, D minor, G, which is the five chord. Back to the C. All right, C. A minor, D minor, G, C, C, A minor seven, D minor seven, G seven. All positions all over the fingerboard. C major seven, A minor seven, D minor seven, G seven, or G nine. C, A minor, D minor, G. What genre of music you're paying, playing, you will either use the triads, the full bar chords, or with some four-note extensions. Um, all twelve keys. We can get into using more of the intricate inversions. C major seventh, A minor seventh, D minor seventh, G seventh, C major seventh, A minor seventh. Spread G seventh spread C major seventh A minor nine D minor seventh G nine C major seventh A minor seventh D minor seventh G seventh. So again, you're going to use this one six two five progression. As your study guide to learning more about the fingerboard while internalizing this progression. Now let's go back to the neck, and we're going to talk about one six two five, not just being one to six minor to two minor, but also to six dominant. So C, A seventh, D seventh, G seventh. So C. A seventh, D seventh, G seventh. All your different positions. with that progression. Another thing we can do is we can do the one to the six dominant seven, then to the two minor, then to the G seventh. So let's take those around. A seven, D minor seven. So it's important to learn these progressions, make music with them, put them in tempo, just as I was doing. You know, make a little music with them because they're so commonly used that it even sounds like a song when you just play the one six two five progression. You can make up your own melodies to these progressions. That's another great study. The key is to internalize these progressions. Start learning more songs. Start. Seeing where these progressions fit into all the songs you already know, 
as well as new songs. So chord progressions. Learn a few, and you can learn hundreds and hundreds of songs.